Hello, everybody. My name is Nirav Shah from Western Computer. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating the sales order process to review order promising capabilities in Business Central. As you can see, I'm currently on the latest version of Business Central. And I'll go ahead and navigate to creating a new sales order. I'm in the sales order entry screen, and I'm going to go ahead and select a customer from my customer list. And I have my customer defined. Without getting into too many details on the sales order header, I'm going to keep this topic strictly to the order promising functionality in Business Central and discuss ways where your customer service team can provide accurate delivery dates if inventory is not available for the line items on order. I'll go to the sales order line and put in my first item. I'm going to go ahead and select my bicycle. As I select the bicycle, we'll see our order entry information, quantities, and against this back box on the sales line, we'll see the item availability. It doesn't look like we have anything available at the moment. So one of the powerful functional features during this process is using what's called under actions and planning on the sales order ribbon. It's called order promising. So here, under order promising, I get a chance to see various different simulations. Like in this case, this line item is not available for us to ship to this customer. So before committing to the order, I could ensure that I'm setting the proper delivery dates and expectations to the customer by using this functionality called order promising lines or sales orders. Doing this process will give me two different views, one of which is available to promise, and the second is capable to promise. These are two unique order planning functions itself. Available to promise will include all orders in the system with existing demand and supply lines with expected lead times, taking all that into consideration then providing you with the earliest shipment date for said item. The capable to promise is more of a what if analysis. It assumes no inventory items or anything against the bill of material is in stock and you need to make everything and purchase everything as new. Kind of a make to order environment. So capable to promise will provide to you the earliest shipment time, assuming you have nothing on hand or nothing on order. Using this functionality will allow you to better manage customer expectations. So in my example with this bicycle, I don't have any available. So I could run the first available to promise calculation. I could accept this if I wanted to, and now put in a unique date of 8-2. If I go ahead and put 9-1, 10 1. And I go back and run under actions, plan, order promising. I could run now capable to promise. Look to assume again I don't have anything on hand. It will give me the earliest shipment date. So the earliest shipment date for this can be 10 1 because it aligns with the lead times and the manufacturing cycle time that it would take for me to manufacture this bicycle and deliver to the customer. I could accept this and I'm okay. So thank you for attending today's presentation on the differences between available to promise and capable to promise using Business Central's sales order functionality to provide an accurate delivery date of your sales order line items if inventory is not available. Have a good day.